जय हिंद डिफेंस एस्पिरेंट्स आई मेजर नसरीन फातिमा स्कॉल रिटायर्ड अकेडमिक हेड सेंचुरी डिफेंस अकेडमी वेलकम यू टू यूट्यूब चैनल ऑफ सेंचुरी डिफेंस अकेडमी आज की इस वीडियो में मैं बात करूंगी कि एन में कौन लीड करता है पासिंग आउट परेड एंड वॉट इज सोट ऑफ ऑनर एंड वॉट इज सो हाइप अबाउट सोट ऑफ ऑनर आप भी बन सकते हैं हिस्सा भारत के रक्षा क्षेत्र में हमारी ऐतिहासिक कामयाबी की दास्ता का क्या आप भी बनना चाहते हैं अधिकारी भारतीय सेना में अगर हाँ आज ही ज्वाइन करें सेंचुरियन डिफेंस एकेडमी और ले इंडिविजुअल एंड पर्सनलाइज गाइडेंस इंडिया के इलाइट एस बी पैनल से नेशनल डिफेंस एकेडमी की बात करूं तो पिछले पैंसठ सालों में नेशनल डिफेंस एकेडमी कंटिन्यूड टू स्ट्राइव एक्सेलेंस एंड इट हैज ग्रोन एक्सपोनेंशियली नेशनल डिफेंस एकेडमी में जब एक कैडेट एंटर करता है अपना टेन ईयर कंप्लीट करने के लिए तो एकेडमी का एंडेवर होता है कि उस कैडेट में इन्वोक किया जाए द स्पिरिट ऑफ चैलेंजर the mind of visionary the quest of researcher and above all the self discipline and the carried should live up to the motto to the credo sevo parma dharma national defense academy mein carried wahi join karte hain jo ki bahut motivated hote hain inspired hote hain and they join with a dream and the dream is to perform well and to lead During the passing out parade, तो कौन लीड करता है पासिंग आउट परेड ओनली दोज हु लीड द परेड हु आर द बेस्ट अमंग द बेस्ट द वन हु गेट्स द सीनियर मोस्ट अपॉइंटमेंट दैर इज द एकेडमिक कैरेट एचरेंट ए सी सी बोलते हैं जो कि परेड लीड करता है फॉलोड बाय द अदर अपॉइंटमेंट लाइक अकेडमिक कैरेट एचरेंट बटालियन कैरेट एचरेंट एंड सो ऑन But the parade is led by ACC. Or ACC, you can become an ACC. There are certain criteria which you need to know. Criteria number one: as soon as you start your academy, your training starts. So you are assessed based on your officer-like qualities. Your 15 officer-like qualities, which involves your planning and organizing which involves your social adjustment which involves your uh, social effectiveness which involves your dynamism ye sari cheeze ye inme jo bhi sub factors hain sub qualities aapki check hoti hain training ke dauran second point ye hai ki nda mein students after class 12th join karte hain so they undergo the graduate course whether it is the ba or bsc or ptech and the degree is conferred by jawaharlal nehru university new delhi and the representatives the audit team comes time to time to check the progress the status so cadets have to perform best when it comes to their academics third point the third criteria is apart from the academics the cadets have to learn about the choice of service initially joint training hoti hai initial training hoti hai regarding army navy and the air force and subsequently cadets they get further specialization to their respective choice of service to wo cadet jo ki jisko complete knowledge ho about the choice of service the one who performs best in the service subject and the fourth criteria is practical training field training jo bhi cadet ne padha hai service subject mein practically wo kaise kar raha hai how best he can do when it comes to practical scenario chahe wo exercises ho kyunki army navy air force ke cadets they undergo the exercises they learn they undergo the exercises so practical training exercises are also conducted so they have to clear certain camps they have to clear certain exercises to complete the training and which is compulsory to cadet ko acha performance dena hai when it comes to the practical field training ki baat karu sath mein academy mein 
uh, there are a lot of activities a lot of extracurricular activities also so extracurricular activities ki baat karu to whether it, it is debate competition whether it is the quiz competition whether it is uh, we have n number of there there are n number of clubs so participation in the activities in the scoring activities in the academy activities also plays an important role shows the initiative shows the managing skills of the um, cadet another important criteria which i would like to tell you it is the physical tests the cadets have to perform well when it comes to physical test whether it is the parade drill pt games and sports so there are certain mandatory games and sports there are certain uh, physical standards and the, the test which is to be cleared and wherein the cadets have to perform well so if you aim to become the academy cadet adjunct if you aim to lead the parade if you want to hold the sword in your hand and lead the parade to get the appointment of acc you have to keep these things in check in your mind and you have to perform accordingly ab main baat karti hu regarding sword of honor ke bare mein and why it is so hyped sword of honor kya hai sword of honor ek honor hai ek achievement hai which is recognized in the services army navy or the air force it's a matter of pride for any cadet to get the sword of honor मैं बताना चाहूँगी कि नेशनल डिफेंस एकेडमी में ड्यूरिंग माय टेन्योर वन थर्टी वन कोर्स में चंद्रकांत आचार्य हिस्स चॉइस ऑफ सर्विस वाज इंडियन आर्मी संयम द्विवेदी वन थर्टी टू कोर्स हिस्स चॉइस ऑफ सर्विस वाज इंडियन नेवी वन थर्टी थ्री कोर्स अर्जुन ठाकुर हिस्स चॉइस ऑफ सर्विस वॉज इंडियन आर्मी Akshat Raj 134 course his choice of service was Indian Army So these four cadets I have closely observed them and they were very consistent when it comes to their training whether it is the physical part of the training whether it is the academics whether it is the service subjects or whether it is the the practical aspects of their service subjects or whether it is their old cues so they have been sincere they have been consistent and uh, the above all was their leadership quality so these cadets have proved their mettle amongst them the akshat raj he got the sword of honor recently uh, from indian military academy so hum baat kar rahe the sword of honor ki तो सोर्ट ऑफ ऑनर जो है वो आपको फिनिशिंग एकेडमी में मिलता है सपोजिंग एक कैरेट ज्वाइन करता है नेशनल डिफेंस एकेडमी से आईएमए, एफए और आईएनए या कोई डायरेक्ट कैरेट जो है डायरेक्टली जो कैरेट्स होते हैं डायरेक्ट एंट्री के वो ज्वाइन करते हैं ये सब एकेडमीज इंक्लूडिंग ओ सो देर देर आर सेपरेट असेसमेंट फ्रॉम द डे वन वैन द ट्रेनिंग स्टार्ट एट द फिनिशिंग अकेडमी वेद इट इज दई एम ए ओ टी or ina again i would like to tell you about the criteria of getting the sword of honor the criteria is the same the first is your oil cues you have to develop certain qualities certain traits which matters a lot so there are 15 oil cues you should go through those 15 oil cues i have broadly told you uh, previously about the uh, the factors and the sub factors and the uh, and about the oil cues so go through the oil cues work on the oil cues so this is going to help you in your ssb and this is going to help you during your training also so the oil cues are checked this is the criteria one and secondly the physical tests so physical tests plays a very important role whether it is your drill whether it is the sports whether it is any game so there are certain physical tests so you need uh, to be up to mark you need to be up to the standards and you have to perform well it's not about clearing the test it is about being the best when it comes to your physical test okay getting good marks when it comes to oil cues third comes your active participation in 
And in any activities, in any kind of activities of your academy, it can be extracurricular activities, it can be initiative for any work. And fourth is holding any appointment. So if you are holding any appointment, that is also considered taken into part when it comes to the assessment for who gonna get the sort of honor. So that is also a criteria. And apart from this, your knowledge in the service subjects, in, the, in your choice of service, you need to be exceptionally well, you need to be thorough with your choice of subjects, your choice of service. So you should know uh, in entirety about the subject, the, and you should be able to perform well when it comes to your field training, when it comes to uh, applying in practically the knowledge you have attained uh, during your training so that is also taken into account your your performance in field training your performance when it comes to service subjects you need to be exceptional you need to give your best and apart from this if the uh, cadets they opt for additional course course like basic para course so uh, over and above, if the if the cadets uh, take any initiative, participate in any activity, so that is also taken into account. So these are uh, the basic criteria which is taken into account when the decision has to be taken who gonna be the sword of honor. So students, now I hope all your doubts have been cleared regarding NDA, who leads the parade that is the ACC and who gets this sort of honor in the finishing academies. In the end, I would like to tell you that nothing is impossible and if you have a dream, a dream of leading the parade, you will and you can, but you have to be consistent and you have to put in best of your efforts. You can be the ACC in NDA, you can be the sort of honor in the respective finishing academies. Jai Hind, God bless you. आप भी बन सकते हैं हिस्सा भारत के रक्षा क्षेत्र में हमारी ऐतिहासिक कामयाबी की दास्तान का। क्या आप भी बनना चाहते हैं अधिकारी भारतीय सेना में? अगर हाँ, आज ही ज्वाइन करें सेंचुरियन डिफेंस एकेडमी और ले इंडिविजुअल एंड पर्सनलाइज्ड गाइडेंस इंडिया के इलाइट एसएसबी पैनल से। अगर आपने सेंचुरियन डिफेंस एकेडमी के यूट्यूब चैनल को सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया है, तो अभी सब्सक्राइब करें और बेल आइकन दबाएं ताकि लेटेस्ट नोटिफिकेशंस आपके पास में सबसे पहले पहुंचे।